Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I will be giving my personal review and spoiler on episode 11 of 609, Bedtime Story, the final episode. I already did my reviews on episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Links are in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. We left off with Du remembering everything that happened in the parallel universe. The parallel mum said Du should sell the room. Mint called Du to ask if he finished packing the stuff, and Du said yes. Then Du said when Mint is done with her errands he will pick her up and he wants to talk to her. Everyone from the pub came to visit mum. Mum came back to the room and Mint said she almost sold it. Mum said she kept the room tidy, but Mint says it was Du who kept it clean. Game says when he posted about mum being in the pub it got packed. Du came, and mum asked if he came with Mint, and Du said no. Mum said to Du, if he keep postponing the wedding, it won't be good. Du said to mum that Mint and him agree to be just friends. Okay, so we went back to when Du said he want to talk to Mint. Du said he wants him and Mint go back to the way things were when they just friends. Mint said she saw it coming, that's why she not surprised. Du asked mum if he not gonna sing on stage and mum said he already did, so Du said it's a shame and that he came to listen to his song. Du left and ton and game ask if mum gonna let him go like that, I agree, Du came all the way to you, boy if you don't move to get your man. It's raining so mum told Du to go back inside to stay. Du is so cute, he fell asleep till closing time. Mint came to mum's place to give him a plant then mum told her that Du came to the pub. Mint asked mum if he knows about them and mum said yes. Then asked Mint if she is okay to which she said yes. Mint asked mum why he talking about Du. Then mum asked Mint if she remembers him telling her about the parallel world and the boy there. Then she said yes. Mum then told Mint that the boy is Du. Mint asked mum why he never said anything before and mum said she confessed to Du on his birthday so he couldn't ruin it. Mint thank mum for being honest to her. V saw Du to which Du said, he is here to meet Mint. But V said, Mint not here, and she reserved a seat for him. I feel like Mint out here playing matchmaking. They even brought Du Lily Paradise drink. She brought over the food, but Du said he never made the order, so she said Mint made the order for them. Mint out here setting 600 moods. She went and flattened Du's car tire. They are all too much. Mint texted Du telling him she can't make it because she busy. They loaded this boy with lots of liquor. Now Du is drunk. Du thanked mum for dropping him last night, then asked if he ever brought anyone here before. Mum asked about Du and his clothing brand but Du said he has so much things he doesn't have time but he is planning to launch a new collection. Du asked his mother if she will still love him even if he loves boys, and she said she will always love him. This is Du's father but mum doesn't know that. So anyways his car broke down and he asked if he can give him a ride if he in a hurry. Mum told everyone his encounter with Du's father. Mum got a text from Du saying his father wants to meet him. Du's father says if he wants anything in the future he should tell him. Then mum told Du's father he likes Du. The mother knows about Du's sexuality but the father doesn't. Then mum looked at Du and says it's his life he should do what his heart wants. It didn't go as well as it planned. Du brought his parents at the pub. It seems Du spoke to them. Du's father said he should make his own path, indicating he is okay with his sexuality and with mum. Du told mum he loves him. They went back to mum's place and make out. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on the final episode of 609, Bedtime Story. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And as always if you like my videos give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video and I will see you next time. Bye.